10, down and under. Jovi Liu Yu Ling was 25 years old when she fell into a swimming pool and drowned. She was a popular Chinese cosplay model doing a photo shoot in Japan. It was actually her fans on social media who asked her to go to Saipan to do the shoot organized by her modeling agency. She checked in at the Seafun Villa on September 25th, but she never checked out. Here's how she drowned. As she was in the middle of the photo shoot, she tripped and fell into the pool, taking two other people with her. The pool was only about 9.8 feet deep. Most people would have been able to just swim to the edge and pull themselves out. The problem was that Liu didn't know how to swim. The other people with her, the photographers and her friends, also didn't know how to swim. They had to wait for hotel staff to jump into the pool and pull her out. And by then, three minutes had already gone by. When they got her to a hospital, she was already in a coma. Her two friends had been flushed into the shallow part of the pool, so they managed to escape with their lives. The doctors did the best they could to keep Liu alive, but she died the next day from lack of oxygen to the brain, and all because nobody with her had the stomach to jump into a luxury hotel pool. 9. Chloe Ailing Chloe Ailing was abducted in July of 2017. The 20-year-old girl was working in London for a supermodel agency in March of 2017. Chloe was supposed to go to Paris for a photo shoot organized by a Polish computer programmer named Lucas Erba, but the plan fell apart and she never went. It was in July that Chloe was contacted yet again by the same guy, requesting another photo shoot, this time in Milan, Italy. Chloe went for the photo shoot, but she never returned to England. Her mother reported her missing. Then the modeling agency where she worked received a ransom email demanding over $300,000. If the money failed to be delivered, the abductors said, the model was going to be sold as a sex slave on the dark web. The consulate for the UK was contacted in Italy. Italian police were organized and the cops stormed the address of the photo studio Chloe was supposed to be at. But there was no photo studio. Inside the building, which was really just an abandoned warehouse type place, the police found some of Chloe's clothes, but no sign of the girl herself. Days later, Chloe and the Polish computer programmer turned up at the consulate in Milan. This was a weird case. As it turned out, Lucas had injected the model with ketamine, handcuffed her, and then put her in a suitcase and stuffed her in the trunk of his car. He told police he did it because he had fallen in love with the model and wanted to help her career by pulling a publicity stunt. But in reality, it was a very real crime, and Lucas was sentenced to 16 years in prison. 8. Armed and Dangerous When a teenager posed with a gun for a photo she was hoping to post on Facebook, she accidentally shot and killed her brother. The situation involved drinking, a whole heap of stupidity, and a bit of manslaughter. The 19-year-old Phoenix woman is now facing a potential manslaughter charge all because she couldn't help but posing for Facebook pictures while playing with a loaded weapon. According to the local police, the brother and sister were playing with a gun following a party. Actually, it was an after-party party. party. They were both wasted. The teenage girl made what she probably thought was a super cool pose with a gun, and then it went off. The bullet went straight through her brother, Manuel Ortiz's head. When the police showed up, the girl was sitting on the curb crying her eyes out. She immediately admitted that she accidentally shot her brother and the police took her away. When the cops checked Facebook, they found both her and her brother had previously posted pictures with them posing with weapons. In one of the pictures, the killer sister was pointing a gun right at her brother's head. It was the exact same pose she tried to make again, though the second attempt had deadly consequences. When the gun went off in her hand, her brother's blood and brain matter splashing into her face was probably the most sobering moment of her entire life. 7. Pre-Wedding Blues a couple attempting a dramatic photo shoot before their wedding ended up drowning together. 
The deceased have been identified as Chandru and Shashakala, a pair from India. They had taken a makeshift one-man boat called a coracle out into the river, about 90 feet from the riverbank, to complete a photo shoot inspired by the movie Titanic. But in the middle of the photo shoot, the boat collapsed and they both died. The bodies weren't recovered until about three hours later by professional swimmers. The couple got engaged in November of the previous year and were set to be married within just days. The reason they'd taken a makeshift boat only suitable for one person instead of an actual motor boat was because the resort they were staying at didn't have one. The photographer didn't even have room to be in the boat. He had to stand on the riverbank taking the photos. The couple were supposed to be imitating various scenes from Titanic. It all went wrong when Shesha Kala, who was wearing high heels, lost her balance and tipped the boat over. She and her soon-to-be husband fell into the water and were swept away by the current. Those on the riverbank could do nothing but watch as they vanished out of sight. Have you ever been involved in a photo shoot so obviously dangerous as this? Let us know about any close calls in the comments and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. 6. Freak Electrical Accident Dr. Denis Ricardo Faria Gurgo was 31 years old and due to be married. Life couldn't have looked any better for this young doctor and his bride. At least that was until he got electrocuted while in the middle of his own wedding photo shoot. It turned out Dr. Denis wasn't quite as bright as he thought. He was holding onto a fishing rod when it snagged a power line overhead during the photo shoot sending a fatal dose of electricity straight into his body. To make matters even more tragic, it happened the day before the wedding. If you're wondering what he was doing with a fishing rod, it was all part of the photo shoot. He and his wife were posing with fishing rods in Cariri do Cocatins, Brazil, basically in the middle of the jungle. It's not clear what exactly they were trying to prove. Maybe they wanted their wedding pictures to show them as cute, outdoorsy people. Whatever the case, Denis got his hook stuck in the power line. He didn't actually get electrocuted until he tried to unhook the piece of metal from the line. He put both hands on the power line, which apparently had lost part of its plastic coating. He literally touched the one thing everyone knows you're not supposed to touch. The current was enough to fry him instantly. 5. The Worst Selfie A 33-year-old woman from Belgium died trying to take a selfie. This is something we're hearing more and more of lately as people go absolutely wild, doing whatever it takes to capture the perfect moment to post to social media. In this case, the woman was posing for a solo photo shoot on the edge of a cliff, arguably the worst place to take a selfie. Zoe Snooks was vacationing with their husband in Luxembourg. They were near the small village of Nadron when Zoe decided it was time for a risky selfie. She stood on the precipice of the cliff, flung her arms in the air, and attempted the picture. Instead of getting the photograph she wanted, she slipped backwards, tumbled 100 feet down to the ground below, and was dead instantly. Her body had to be recovered by a team of rescuers, including scuba divers, police, and firefighters. And all the while, her husband was just standing there, barely understanding what in the world had gone wrong. You see, Zoe and her husband, Jory, were traveling around Europe in their camper van. They'd been doing it ever since the pandemic and were pretty serious about getting in as many photo shoots as possible. This time, though, the photo proved to be more trouble than it was worth. Jory lost his wife, and she lost the rest of her life. 4. Photo Shoot Robbery In India, the police arrested a man named Krishna Ghosh after a daring jewelry theft during a photo shoot. Krishna, in his mid-30s, escaped with a whole box of gold jewelry from a woman after he showed up to be the photographer for her pre-wedding photo shoot. He only actually got away with a crime for one day. It was the day after when the bride realized that her gold chains were missing, as well as a bunch of other jewelry. The police tracked down the thief to his apartment, where they discovered his bizarre photography scheme. Krishna was advertising himself on social media as a photographer and a professional photographer at that. But on the other hand, he was a straight-up jewel thief. 
Whenever he took photographs, he always had his eyes open for any loose jewels that might be ripe for the taking. He even got so bold that he began asking women to bring their own jewelry to show off in the photos. Then he would figure out a way to relieve them of their jewels and have them go on their way none the wiser. Alas, he was finally busted. The police found a small deposit of gold ornaments and cash in his apartment. 3. Nude at the Mall A photographer and his model have gotten into some serious hot water for a nude photo shoot gone wrong at a busy mall. Of course, the fact that both of them have been arrested isn't a huge surprise, but here's where things get absolutely ghoulish. The photographer is 64-year-old Michael Warnock. His nude model is a student at the Indiana University of Pennsylvania, 22-year-old Chelsea Guerra. On the surface, this looks pretty bad. It's an old man taking naked pictures of a young woman at a public strip mall. The Pennsylvania pair were arrested and brought up on misdemeanor charges of disorderly conduct. They also have to pay a $300 fine each. According to the police investigation, Chelsea responded to a Craigslist ad placed by Michael back in 2017. It should have been a red flag right there that a photographer was looking for young models on Craigslist. She voluntarily signed up to be a nude model with a paycheck coming of $300. The really strange part is that Michael decided to hold the shoot at the Miracle Mile Shopping Center in Monroeville. The couple went there at 11 o'clock in the morning in full view of dozens of shoppers and started snapping risque photos. Somebody called 911 immediately. When the police arrived, they found Chelsea standing in front of the mall with nothing on except stockings and high heels. The old man was there too, snapping photographs. In her defense, Chelsea said the photos were supposed to be art. She also said nude modeling is honest work. Even if these things are true, a busy strip mall is probably a pretty bad place for that kind of art. 2. A Very Inappropriate Photo Shoot Denise Jaffer and Jamie Lewis, a pair of Metropolitan Police officers, have gotten into some serious trouble for the most inappropriate photo shoot imaginable. These two men, police officers who were supposed to be trusted by the public, were caught taking dehumanizing photos of a pair of murder victims, allegedly for their own amusement. They've since been jailed for nearly three years. But that doesn't make their disgusting photo shoot any less heinous. In fact, what they did could be compared to a serial killer like Jeffrey Dahmer keeping souvenirs of his victims. Denise and Jamie were ordered to guard the scene of a murder in a London park where two sisters were found stabbed to death back in June of 2020. The sisters were Nicole Shulman and Baba Henry. But while they were standing guard, they took out their phones and snapped some photographs of their dead bodies. Then they uploaded the photos into two separate WhatsApp groups. One of the groups contained at least 41 police officers. If it wasn't disgusting enough to take pictures of dead bodies, never mind the dead bodies of two girls who had just been murdered, the action of the cops almost got the killer off. They had gone into the crime scene, risking contamination just to take the pictures. Daniel Hussein, the killer who had been obsessed with Satan, nearly got off free because of their little photo shoot. Luckily enough, he was still found guilty and given life in prison. 1. Killed by the photographer Model Linda Sobeck was killed by a photographer. Linda was a former NFL cheerleader who turned to acting and modeling back in the 1990s. But in November of 1995, she vanished and nobody knew what happened to her. Linda was missing for eight days before authorities were finally led to her buried remains by the very photographer who took her life. Charles Rathbun had dumped the woman, 10 years younger than him, in a remote area of the Angeles National Forest. Charles told the police that he had accidentally struck and killed her with his car while they were doing a photo shoot for some automobile magazine. But an autopsy showed that Rathbun had actually brutally strangled her to death and then dumped her into a shallow grave. There hadn't even been a photo shoot. It was all a ploy set up by Rathbun to get his murderous hands around Linda's throat. 
What's the worst thing that's ever happened to you or someone you know while on a photo shoot? Let us know about it in the comments and thanks a lot for watching the video. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit subscribe to help support the channel. See you again soon. Bye.